guys welcome back to my channel I'm going to be reviewing the super stay 10 hour stain gloss from Maybelline and the color that I have is cool coral so I've not used this product before and so I'm going to like have a follow me around today and I'm going to be checking in with you guys telling you guys how the gloss is doing and if it really is going to last 10 hours so we're going to apply this and first thought is it smells like do you guys remember those l'oreal shampoos that were shaped like fish when you were little That's and then the applicator is really strange it's it's like flat it kind of looks like a golf club so It's like a gel texture. I actually like the color. The texture of it reminds me of the Balm Staniac. So yeah, it goes on really simple. The only thing I have is that it kind of forms lines at the top of your lips. The applicator makes it really easy to apply though. It doesn't feel like lipstick but it doesn't feel like lip gloss either. It definitely has the exact same feeling as the Balm Staniac does where it's kind of like a jelly texture on your lips but it looks good so yeah so that is my first impression of it right now and I'll be checking up with you guys later as Ezekiel and I are out and about uh, oh the time I need to tell you guys what time it is um it is now 11 40 my time so 10 hours from now is what time? So at 9.40, my lips should still have a stain on them. So yeah, we'll just see if this baby really does stay for 10 hours. But if I do notice that my lips are starting to patch up or not be fully colored, I do have the Revlon Lip Butter Wild Watermelon, which I feel like is a super close color. Like, first of all, the packagings of the lids are like the exact same color. But, so here is the lip butter. And here is the applicator for the Maybelline. And they seem like a similar color. So if they do start to patch up my lips, then I will definitely apply the watermelon. But I will let you guys know if that happens. So I will see you guys when I check in next. Hey guys, so this is a checkup and it is 1.28 and it seems to be fading already. There's like a line right here where some of the product has started to fade. My bottom lip st still looks really, really good. It's just the top lip that I've noticed is kind of fading a little bit. So I might have to put my Revlon lip butter on. But we'll definitely see and I've already like drank water, I drank tea, we're about to go to Target right now and yeah so it's doing alright, I don't think it's going to last the whole 10 hours so yeah I'll see you guys later. Hey guys so we just got done at main event and we ate food and we drank coke and water and we played bowling and golf and my lipstick did not last it definitely does have like a stain power but it's not a super strong stain it's just i don't know it kind of looks like when um you put lipstick on and then you just kind of take it off and it's just like a light stain that you can tell you had something on your lips and it, it really lasted on like the outline of my lips as you can tell right here as 
And so it does look like I'm wearing some kind of color. So I would definitely suggest that if you get this, carry something that you can put on top, like a lip butter or another lip gloss, or you could always reapply this um, lip gloss if you want. But it's not a go get you some rating. It's like, eh, it's okay. If it's on sale around you, then I guess go ahead and get it. But only if it's a really good sale, because when I got mine, it was, I think it was like 50% off, and then I had a $2 off Maybelline coupon. So I got it for like a buck. So yeah. Hey guys, as you know, the gloss did not last a solid 10 hours. It probably lasted about five hours, which I still think is really, really good. Um, cause this stain was there, but it was darker on the out part of my lip rather than the in part. So if definitely I, if you did purchase this, I would have a color that matches with it. And like I said, my Revlon lip butter, um, and wild watermelon matches mine. So I just keep that handy and I keep applying when I can. Overall, um, the stain's really good. I feel like it kind of dries out your lips a little bit. Maybe that's just because of the stain. But if you find these at a good sale, I know CVS has them for 50% off right now. And if you have a coupon to go with them, then I would definitely purchase it just because it is a nice stain. And if you are going out for like prom or any type of school function, that would be great. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe, follow me on all my social media sites. They're listed down there. And yeah, thanks guys and have a beauty filled day. Oh, let's just put this stuff on. That sounded really stupid. <clears throat> okay. Is that what you do all the time? Huh? Is that what you do all the time? What? Stop and then talk to yourself. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All the time. While it's recording. While it's recording. It's pretty funny. So at 9:40, my lips. Wrong? Huh? What about that wrong? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, because 12 hours is. 940. Yeah, it's 9:40.